So welcome to Techno Dad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And so today we're going to be doing our most requested video ever. And so this is Nextcloud. And so why I've delayed doing this is it's actually very complicated to do. As you'll see, today is part one of this video. And so basically we have to get, for this part, get two containers working and do a little command line work. And then after that we show you what's going on with Nextcloud. And as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And also check, to, check out our Patreon page down below. And here we go now! Okay, so first we're going to go to Docker and install two things. <clears throat> Type in Linux server slash Maria and it will bring up the Maria database and we're going to install that. Once that's done, click close and we're going to go back up and backspace a little bit. And then we're going to do Linux server next cloud and click on that and install. When that's done, click close. And so the first thing we need to do is make a next cloud folder. So we're going to go to our shared folders, click add. We're going to call that next cloud and it's going to be on our raid server and we're going to change this to everyone i'm going to click save and apply and yes next we're going to go on to our network and go to our server we're on think2 go to app data we're going to create two folders so the first folder is going to be called nextcloud db for a database and the next folder is just going to be called nextcloud and then we can close that go back to docker and so we're going to click on maria database and click info and scroll down to our usage and these are the things that we're going to be worried about I click on Maria database again and then click run image. And so we're going to call this next cloud database. And we're doing that in case we have other versions of Maria database uh, running, such as Leachy. We're going to click on always. We're going to leave this in bridge mode. And we're going to leave that port as 3306. You don't actually have to do this twice. But I like doing that because then uh, it lists which ports uh, down below that we're using, which comes in handy. We're going to put in our PUID, which is 1000, and our PGID, which is 100. And if you don't know how to do the PUID and the PGID, take a look at my Plex video. Click the plus sign. Next, we're going to put in time zone. And so for me, it's America, New York. Next, we're going to put in uh, my SQL root password. And so here we're going to make up a password. And so I'm just going to call this pass one. Click the plus sign. Next, we're going to hit slash and config. And we're going to go down to shared folders, app data. And next cloud database and click OK and hit the plus sign and then we're going to click save and so that was the easiest part of our setting up next cloud now we're going to go to shell in the box go to web clients log in as roots and your password for your server and so what we're going to do now is uh, basically first create a shared folder so we're going to type in change directory cd space slash shared folders slash app data slash next cloud database slash hit enter <coughs> oops and and it thinks i did that twice so we'll do that again so now we've moved to our shared folder so next we're going to type in nano space custom dot cnf and so if we go to our server <coughs> 
in Nextcloud database. You can see there's the custom.cnf. Uh, some people try to change that with Windows, using Windows, but what I find is the permissions get corrupted if that happens. So we're just going to do it here in Shell in the Box. Hit Enter. And so we're going to page down three times. And we're looking for this right here, bind or number sign bind dash address equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then put the cursor on the number sign, just hit delete. And then next what we're going to do is hit control X and then Y and enter. That will save that. So we're done with our first part. Next we'll type change directory space tilde. And we're back to our roots. I'm going to type in clear. And so we have a clear starting screen again. So next what we need to do is restart our Nextcloud database. So we're going to type in docker space restart space Nextcloud DB. Hit enter. Once that's done restarting, we'll type in docker exec dash it uh, Nextcloud database bash, and so that's we're bashing into the Nextcloud database. Next, we'll type in my SQL <coughs> space uh, dash u root space dash p, and this will be so we can log into our database. And so here we'll put in our password that we put in before, and for us it was pass one. Hit enter. And now we're in the Maria database. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a user and a password. So basically in capital letters, put create user and then in quotes, whatever your user is, we put user one here. Again, in capital letters identified by and then in quotes, pass one. And then make sure you have a semicolon at the end and then hit enter. And it says query OK, so it did that. So next we're going to create a database. And so in caps, we're going to put create database if not exists and small letters next cloud. And again, we want to make sure there's a semicolon after it. Hit enter. Again, query OK, so it did that. And then next what we're going to be doing is granting our user all privileges to the next cloud database. So for this in caps, we're going to put grant all privileges on and then small letters next cloud dot star. And then uh, big letters T uh, two and then quotes user one unquote capital letters identified by and quote pass one unquote and then a semicolon at the end and then hit enter and again query OK so we were able to do that then type quit and then exit and exit and then you can close that window and now we're going to go back to docker and we're going to start Nextcloud. So we're going to click on Nextcloud and go to the info page first. And here are the parameters that we need. So not too many parameters. We're going to go back to Nextcloud, click Run Image. And we're going to call this Nextcloud. Restart policy always. We're going to stay in bridge mode. We're going to change 80 to 8080 because our OMV server is on 80. And we're going to change 443 to 444 because we're going to be needing 443 uh, in a little bit. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to go down to container path. We're going to hit slash and config. Go down to shared folders and app data. And next cloud, make sure we got the right one there. Hit OK and plus. Hit slash again and go to data. Shared folders and then next cloud and OK. And then hit the plus again. And now we can hit save and we should be able to log into our next cloud after a few minutes. Definitely give it a minute or two to start up and then try to log in.
Okay, so now what we need to do is copy our IP address and then actually paste that in here and two things. So one, you want to add in the S there for this, S-H-T-T-P-S. And then we're going to add in our 444 to show that we are going to Nextcloud and then hit enter. And the first time or for right now, you have to click advanced and proceed. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create an admin account. So we'll create an admin user and a password for that user. Next, we'll click on storage and we've already mapped our data drive to our Docker. So we'll click my Maria database here. So our database user was user1. Password was pass one. Let's just check that. Very good. Database name was Nextcloud. And so for local hosts, we need to put in our IP address and then colon 3306. And then we scroll down and we click finish setup. Okay, so once we're logged in, you, this is the basically first screen you see. Uh, you can download desktop apps. I have the Windows app downloaded for your phone, Google Play, or Apple Store. So some of the basics. So first of all, how do we add a folder? So we click on the plus sign up here. Click New Folder, and then we name the folder. And so we called that one music, and it tells us over on the right that we created music. Uh, how we move things is we can just click on it, and then move or copy. So we'll click that, and then we can click on the folder to move it to. So that's the music, so we'll click on the music folder, and then move to music. And now if we click on the music folder, we can now see that's in there. Uh, so that was actually a movie folder. So why don't we create a movie folder? And let's go back to that music folder. Click on Next Cloud. Move to Movie. There we go. Move to Movie. Done. And that's there. Go back to our movie folder. And there it is. So Next Cloud can play movies right away. And here you can see that it's doing that here. Uh, it does not have native support for PDFs or MP3s. And so what would happen if I clicked on this, it would download. And the other way you can do that is go over to the three dots over here. And you can move, copy, or download, delete, or rename. So why don't we add in some MP3 support and some PDF support. So we're going to go over to the wheel. And we're going to go to apps, click on multimedia, and we're going to enable audio player. So we're going to click on that. While that's doing that, we're going to go over to office and we're going to add a couple of things here. One is we're going to add calendar. We're going to scroll down a little bit and enable PDF viewer. Okay. And so now if you look at the top of the screen here, we have two new things here. So we have our calendar app. And if we click on that, it brings us to a calendar where we can do day, month, week. And if we click on the audio player, it will take us to a audio player. But now if we go back to our files, we click on the next cloud manual. We have the PDF installed. We can now view that. And so Let's go back to our files and let's import a MP3 and then try to play that. What, how we upload something is we click on the plus sign again and upload file and our music and Johnny Cash. And we'll pick out one song here and open. And so there it uploaded us with along with the cover art. We'll click on that to see what happens. So that plays fine now. So let's move these over to the music folder. 
And let's move that PDF over to the documents. Good. And so that's the basics of Nextcloud. Uh, the only other really interesting thing, so we went over, there's tons of apps to do. Uh, you can click on this triangle one and there's something called sharing. So how you do this is you can add, you can either share a link, uh, which is interesting. So it will give you access to that folder or that document. It can also allow someone, if you give them the link to upload something to that folder without actually seeing it. Or the third option is that allow upload and editing so they can actually see what's in that folder and do that. So those are the basic sharings. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, we'll be doing a, so at least one more part to this and we'll be going from there. So, so if you like this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and do check out our Patreon page. And we'll see you next time and you have a great weekend. Bye bye.